Hello traders, uh, this is the Dow on the weekly chart and you can see we are just on the 127 extension on this weekly chart with the fibs taken from the Feb low and the December high. So as we get into Fed day tomorrow we are hanging on a crucial level which is typical of uh, you know, busy week with data. If we break 870, we break this week's low, I think this market is toast. I think we'll see 16,600 pretty quick. Uh, if we can start closing above 950, 17,000, then we could potentially break these highs, or at least bump, bump into them again, 17,100. So, I mean, we've held the ATMA. Don't forget, you know, these markets need to touch the moving averages every now and again to keep their feet on the ground, make sure they're not too extended, to get volume in the market, all sorts of reasons why those moving averages get touched regularly. And so we just need to see where they want to go with it tomorrow. But I would just bracket those key figures, 870. Uh, another way around this is simply to short the 1700 again. If we scroll down, I think we're seeing potential head and sh well, we are seeing the, the beginnings of a head and shoulder here. This is the shoulder, this is the head, this is the neckline, and the fact that we had a, we had a bullish bar yesterday of 50 in A, the fact we are the 15 minutes to go closing down here. Uh, Again, any chart that can't close above the 8 is suspicious. So, tomorrow, if we, I'm going to do very, very little tomorrow with the Fed Day uh, late in the session. We've also got, let me just look at my diary, we've got uh, weekly jobs at 1.15 UK time, and then with advanced GDP, so that might lift it. Uh, but then if the market doesn't like what the Fed say, then we could break down. Okay, so what I said to you over the weekend was mark off this range, the daily, of the Monday range, and then see where we go with it. And at the moment, this is looking, I mean, we're coming to the 15 minute, the close, and we're already seeing another sort of 20, 30, 40 points drifting lower. So this market is not happy, right? If we drill down to the four hour, you can see that something of a reversal bar up here, narrowly closed above the 50 MA. But once we broke 17,000, we have not managed to hold on. So we are seeing <coughs> that this sort of funnel effect is normally a you know, powerful chart. So looking for this to close above 17,050, we're not. So any pullbacks now, any retests of 17,000 is definitely an area of uh, potential shorts. Okay, and the 15 minutes, you, know, you can see I marked up my 15 minutes. I did actually try and short, I did short here, I had 30 points in the bank, marked off this range here, 30 points in the bank, it held support. So I got uh, a stop to break even on that one, and once it finally went up to this level up here, then I started short on these levels, and I made I didn't manage to get that pullback, but I did start shorting under that level there. Okay, so I will try and guide you through that tomorrow. Right, let's look at the dailies on the other charts. Uh, sorry, before we leave that, one one point, one crucial point on this. Um, the bigger the time frame, the more 
profit you're likely to make on your setup. So if you're trading stars and hammers, where's the hammer on the 15 minute that runs up for 900 to that runs up 150 points. If you look at a hammer on a weekly chart. The hammer on the weekly chart on February that made 15,800 up to 17,150. Okay, I'm just trying to make the point that the bigger the time frame, the more profits you're likely to make. The people who trade in five minute charts are likely to get chopped around a lot and not grow their account. Okay, this is a 60 minute reversal bar. Hardly went in, hardly retraced back into that bar at all. 26 was the retrace, and 22 was the breakdown area, was the entry, and the stop only needs to be 35 points. I think a lot of people assume that if you're going to trade 60 minute charts, you've got to have massive stops. That's just not the case. This reversal bar up here required a stop of Entry was 120, the stop was 150. Alright, right, let's have a quick look around a couple of other main charts, then we'll leave it there. So that's the daily on the Dow. Uh, this is the gold sticking around the 1300. So I would stay out of that at the moment. The US dollar yen, yeah. the, the dollar is very strong. Now you can see I've marked this the wall. And that figure there, 101.25, 101.50 was a massive area. Brick dropped underneath it, which is quite common. A little bit of a stop run, and we pushed that through. Pound yen, stuck at 173. Could go either way. So again, bracket it. Whichever way um, that comes out of that today's range, or even yesterday's range, at the moment we are just inside yesterday's range. Whichever way we come out of that is the potential direction for the rest of the week and possibly the rest of the month. Uh, pound Aussie dollar is desperately trying to push up. It can't close above the 8, so I'm suspicious of that one. We might, if it's a bearish consolidation, we might get a squirt up to 181 and then drop. So be very wary. But all the time we we are not breaching 179.85, then that could still push its way up. Pound US, a nice drop. So that's now. Uh, a good short at 9.70, 169.70 with a stop above 1.70 to see if that can tumble all the way down to 1.68. Um, well the US is really trapped. So stay away. Oil is index tomorrow as well as Fed, advanced GDP. So a lot of data. I would just steer clear of this. Interestingly, if you look at um, Monday's range, we are now closing underneath. On this range, so this looks as if you can tell it's a very odd. Once we sold 103.25, this has just got a distribution pattern about it. The AGMA is accentuating a very nice, neat uh, loop down. We could start to accelerate, we break 100 tomorrow, and we could accelerate out of that box or at least retest the box, the bottom of the box. But like I said, stay out of it, it's very volatile at the moment. Alright, uh, let's go to stocks. 
obviously with what I just said on the market, be very wary. Price line, you know, some stocks will always come up in these markets. Taking profits out of Yahoo, I would stand aside. Win talked about this a couple of weeks ago. This is pushing up nicely. Uh, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it because if we come back and retest to ten, we could get interesting. Now I think this one is back in the game. WFM Whole Foods Market. I'm actually going to buy this tomorrow. Thirty-seven ten. I'm hoping to get with a stop under thirty-six fifty. Hello is not doing it. I've got a lot of longs here, so I need to quickly look around for potential shorts. Let's in, it's still going higher. Uh, I need to ramp my stop up on that one. Citrix still going higher. Alright, and uh, Amazon is going lower. That retests 329, that could drop hard. Alright, I hope you enjoy that video and look forward to seeing you tomorrow.